tell me, um, did were you into it before the first movie and the second movie? Were, were, were you what they call a Trekkie, or were you just a, a casual observer from the sidelines? Uh, I'm somewhere in between. I, you know, firstly, I, I, I enjoy the science fiction genre, no matter what, mm -hmm. if it's Star Wars or Star Trek. I, I always have. Um, uh, I, I watched um, the original series uh, about two years um, before JJ made this first film. Yeah. Um, I watched it with my son. Uh, so I didn't actually go back and rewatch it uh, um, when I when we made the the, the, the second or this film. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, yeah, the, the bridge from Star Trek, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a, maybe a tiny bit of a Trekkie. Uh, it, it's such an iconic set, right? That actually mm. through the ages, irrespective of it being a TV show or a movie, it, it does synonymously look the same from from or, or, the, or similar. Mm. Do do you have moments when you walk onto that set, and you go, wow, I'm going to be part of something here? It is, it's surreal. Yeah. It always is. And it was particularly this time, you know, coming back after four years and walking onto that bridge was, it was incredible. Um, but, it, you know, talk about what an extraordinary set. Oh. I mean, it's not, you're not, you know, on a stage in front of a green screen. It, they built the entire enterprise. I mean, you could literally, they built more of it for this movie than they have for any other Star Trek movie in history. You could literally walk from, you know, the bridge to the med bay. You know, you pass through gigantic, you know, atriums. Yeah, and, wow. Uh, there's the scope and scale. Everything is bigger in this film. Salty's surgery. Nova. Novafm.com.au.